ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Iraqi eulogy. Um, as Gamroy says, you know, we're like best friends and we've worked in many schools, probably close to 500 different schools all across Australia. And we love to showcase the beauty of our culture, whether it's in the form of art, song, dance, um, storytelling, or playing on the Iraqi. And because we've showcased the beauty of our culture and we continue to do this, like modern day ambassadors for our people. We've had the opportunity to travel to many different places around the world. And uh, as we've traveled to this place, and the world's just opened up to us. Um, myself and Gumroy, we actually got to play at the Glastonbury Festival a few years ago. So it was an honor to go to the world's biggest mud pit, I mean, uh, festival, <laughs> and, um, and showcase the beauty of our culture. Um, and we've gone from there, we've toured through Italy and Germany and Switzerland and many other places and uh, and and, uh, Maury. and Maury as well. <laughs> so we take a lot of pride in showcasing our culture because then when we look back, it was our grandmothers who weren't even allowed off the riverbank without police permission. And yet we've gone through two or three passports and we continue to showcase that culture. And so we said to our family, look, we love to travel overseas and, and our family should support us wholly and fully because when we hear stories of our grandmother needing police permission to leave the riverbank, and now we've got a passport that can lead us anywhere in the world, so nothing's going to stop us. And so that's the power you'll see in tonight's performance, as he played the yidaki and the dancing and hear the songs, and just to know that we take this all around the world, and we'll never stop showcasing the beauty of the culture. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for yidaki eulogy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, we do uh, appreciate uh, that you've all come here tonight. Uh, my auntie and uncle there. Um, what do you reckon about the artwork? <laughs> These songs and dances that we're about to do here, ladies and gentlemen, um, are all traditional songs, they're all traditional dances. There are some songs that um, I had to get permission to do um, from the old people, um, and these songs are for you guys. This first song that we're about to do is a welcome to you guys uh, to welcome you into our cultural circle. And uh, that's the most important thing about our culture, is to invite you guys from our circle. And uh, if you have any questions after our show, please feel free to come up and ask. And um, any questions at all, these songs and dances, um, they are all traditional and we do hope that you um, enjoy. Have a lovely evening down here and uh, here we ready.
I was talking in Sri Lanka, ladies and gentlemen, and I got a bit of a and they all come from the Central Desert, and uh, there are some paintings here that uh, represent uh, my people. I'm very happy about that. Uh, but uh, this is a uh, traditional welcome for you guys. Uh, we have 600 Indigenous languages throughout our country, and uh, you just heard four. So uh, we do hope that you enjoy. What are you ready? Hey, can everyone say Yama? Yama is one of many, many hundreds of ways to say hello and welcome in our traditional language. So, in my language, I say, I'm going to be a bit of a young man. I'm going to be a bit of a young man. I'm going to be a bit of a young man. I'm going to be a bit of a young man. I'm going to be a bit of a young man. I'm going to be a bit of a young man. I'm going to be a bride. Yao, thank you very much. We are Yidaki Yoji. The word Yidaki is the real name for this amazing instrument. See that brother right up there in that magnificent painting, Uncle David Goldblum? He is the reason, and the first reason, why I've travelled to many, many phenomenally amazing countries on the face of my sweet mother earth. I saw him at the age of four. When I heard this instrument being played in a proper traditional way, he was playing at a style called Margo, which my brother knows a difference, brother over here, brother Adam Hill, one of the many masters around here of this amazing instrument. He was playing traditional real old school way, and I was four, and I burst into tears, and I had goosebumps. My mum said, what are you crying about? I go, I don't know, but if I ever grow up to be a sensible young man, I want to be something like this amazing man. So I'm happy to say because, like Brother Denner once said, prior to the referendum, our parents, our grandparents, they weren't allowed to leave the confines of the missions without a thing called a ticket of exemption. So thank the Almighty Creator for giving me the wonderful life that I've lived thus far. About, I think, 40 countries, we will take a few. So can everyone say, Ul Balu? I love you too. <laughs> This is a kangaroo dance. How much have we got? How much time? Well, mate. Yeah, not all that. <laughs> this is a kangaroo dance. So in my language, we call the, uh, the kangaroo bunda, bunda. Can you say that, bunda? Bunda. See, because the way it hops, bunda, 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 bunda. And I'll explain as we go along how intertwined and interconnected our language is to dance, to song, to movement, to the greater living universe. Ugaranji. We might ask our MC to have a go at this one as well. I'm not sure if you might have done this one before. Yeah, I've done this one. Once or twice. Yeah. See, now in our culture, we must say, I learned this from here, I learned that from there. Always acknowledge where you get your gifts from, otherwise it won't come back around and you won't receive uh, any more blessings. Ugaranji by our beautiful brothers, Willie Barton and Sean Chilper from the Galgadunga Nation and also the Goku uh, Yalanji, that's it. <laughs> This one here now, I don't have to acknowledge anyone because I wrote this one. It's not a traditional song, but it's in the traditional theme of the song lines. I'll explain it as I go along how uh, songs and melodies, where they, where they derive from. 
So this one's all about the Emu. Now, I've been a lot of silly things, and I've been called a lot of silly things in life. But there's only one thing I can guarantee I am, and that's a fantastic dad. So I wrote this one about my amazing daughter. And uh, it's the song of the Emu. Because the Emu and the Kangaroo, if you don't already know, represents progress. Don't look back. Just keep uh, going forward and uh, believe in your dreams. Just want your 
yourself a free trip to Switzerland. <laughs> That's all you gotta say, I'm like, like, like a wonderful Swiss album player. So you ring the guitar, you say words, and you, know, and you do like uh, imitations of animals. Everyone say wah wah. Wah wah. Ah, ah, ah. It's the pro. In certain uh, places of Iron Man, don't you laugh, Leo? You're coming up and dancing in the dance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Leo Virtual. He really, really hates like public attention. He's really, really sharp. <laughs> He's only one of the co uh, main stars in the latest. Who's uh, 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 I hate to put you on the spot, brother, but I love you and I love you. Who you knows Stone Brothers? Yeah. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. He's actually one of many uh, Didgeridoo masters, song masters, and uh, dance masters. So thank you for being here as a part of the yeah, eulogy. <laughs> So you have, anyway, back to the, the drawing board. You use your voice. Everyone say Mooka Daka. <laughs> you want free hair spins to do that? <laughs> so you hold your breath and squeeze your lips. I normally say something else, but if you'll laugh, watch, I'll do it, I'm gonna even laugh. You gotta squeeze your cheeks. Breathe up, to the nose, and let it out. This little piece is called get out the eulogy. Because eulogy in our language, it just means to dance, have fun, and to play. with him uh, about 2005 with a magnificent group called uh, The Yardin Dancers. This is one of his uh, traditional songs. And it's all about the rainbow lorikeet. In the story, you want to play the second rainbow lorikeet? Me? Yeah, you look like really nice and colourful. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Speed with spirit. Round of applause on Max as well, guys. One of our beautiful elders. I think he's about 27 and he's actually single too. <laughs> this is the dance of Red Bull Laura. Do you want to play? Are oh, you going to play? You know the dance? Yeah. Okay. Leon Virtual. Because now I'm going to play Hidaki. So it's all about, you see in the story, the first little fella falls down and breaks his wing. But the second little fella is so concerned about his wonderful little brother, he flies down in panic. Hey, get up, get up. The big York Valley, or the other, that's only my language, Uncle Joe uses a totally different language. 
Get up before the Goanna and Snake might come and eat you. So everybody clap. The Rainbow Loyalty Dance. It's all so distantly vague now. Memories intermittent today as a man. As I've listened to mum reminiscing about advice seeking days with her grand. She had the answers to everything. Inspirational to mum was Rand's flight. Passed on to me now from my mother. Her grand's answer to this needless colour fight. You see, Grand handed our friendship to everyone. To doctors, lawyers and kin. In her eyes, you were judged as a person. Disregarding the colour of skin. So all Australians now answer this question. Why is skin colour so relevant today? If you ever encounter racism's ugliness, you just turn to that culprit and say, Oh mate, we've come a long way now since those battles down at Watney Bay. Why judge me for being black or white? I only see people in grey. I know there's gone a Yidaki, I was christened. Roy Vincent Newman. If you'd like me to be your friend for life, hey, just simply colour me human. Now, if everyone adopts my attitude, from both sides, there'd be less confrontation. And the positive progression would be allowed to continue, striving for this elusive one nation. So, to contribute to a harmonious future, to the racists, I have something to say. Mate, just so long as you're a beautiful person. Hey, you're not black or white. You're Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got an all-star cast up here on stage. You know, these fellas have travelled the world, showcasing their culture, and every day they inspire me to keep on, you know, teaching the culture and being as strong as I can. So can you give me a hands up for it? Yeah, can you do it? This guy is a master of dance. Check this guy out. I've got a t shirt account to count five in my brother's language of uncles. It's our brother Mangalong Gully and Uncle Magpie Curry. Can you boys and girls imagine growing up with a name like Magpie Curry? Yeah? One of my nicknames was Mr. Squiggle, but this dude's like Magpie Curry. Everyone say Yubble. 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 Any more than five because if you take more than five, you're just plain greedy. <laughs> <laughs> and he is a multi serial polygamist now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you to the sister baby, thank you Uncle Gordon, and thank you to our manager, Sister Amplify over here. Round of applause. Well, thank you very much guys, I hope you have a, a lovely evening down here, and I hope you learned something tonight. And please have a really good look at the artwork, because this whole body here, and uh, Auntie has spent a lot of time and a lot of patience to get this all happening. So, uh, and to all the organisers and all you beautiful people, thank you for coming along. Oh, uh, this is our third last song, and uh, this one is Get Young Man, and it uh, basically means it's never had a goodbye because we'll see each other again. Oh, what I got in there?